Irish Army, TTC, what's going on? Big Sean here. Now, concerning the fact that Notre Dame hosts UConn this week, I want to take this time to dedicate this video to the memory of Jasper Howard. Now, as we all know, Jasper Howard is the UConn player who was tragically murdered here a few, a few weeks ago. And I want to take this time to express my condolences to the Howard family. Um, myself being someone who has lost someone very close to them to an unexpected tragedy out of, out of nowhere, I know the pain that you guys are probably going through right now. Um, I... I really don't know what to say, just that um, I that I'm praying for you guys, and I hope as time passes, things will get somewhat better. Um, but of course, losing somebody to to that kind of situation, I mean, you'll never you, you never forget that. And, but you can only things can only get better with time, and um, that's really all I can say. And my condolences to the Howard family and to the UConn team. And Jasper Howard, rest in peace. So anyway, with that being said, on to my preview for this week's game. Now, at this time of the year, and the way things have gone down here in the last few weeks with the, the two tough losses to Navy two weeks ago and to Pittsburgh last week, and all the rumors we've been hearing about Charlie possibly being done at the end of the year. I'm not going to throw, throw out any numbers right now. I mean, there's no point in doing that this time of the season. But, however, I will throw this one stat out. UConn is 4-5 and five on the year. Now, the thing is, they're not a bad team despite what their record shows. Okay? Of their five losses... Those five losses have been by a combined total of 15 points. 15 points. They gave Cincinnati a run for their money. They gave uh, North Carolina a run for their money when they were ranked number 12. Um, so, yeah, this is a, a pretty good football team we're going up against this week. Um, they're pretty solid on both sides of the ball. And, you know, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be hungry for a win just as much as we are. And... But when it comes to the game, the main thing that needs to, to be done is developing a consistency in our offense. That's really what's hurt us the past couple of games, is our offense will just be dead for one half of the game, and then all of a sudden spring to life in the second, but by, when they do spring to life, it's been too little too late. And it was the same case last week against Pittsburgh. You know, no offense whatsoever in the first half, but then in the second half, well, pretty much more or less the fourth quarter, our offense suddenly explodes and we make a game out of it. But, as I said earlier, time ran out on us and it was too little too late. So the way I see this game going down is if we can play the full 60 minutes of football and our offense can maintain a consistent level, then I see us winning this game by at least two scores. So if you want a final prediction for an exact score... I say Notre Dame wins this game 28-14. Possibly, actually, no, I take that back. We're probably going to give up 20 points. So I'll say 35-21. But that's pending if our offense can be consistent. So, yeah, that's really all I can say for this video. Um, but before I go, uh, one thing I did want to give a, a special uh, address to is... Um, uh, Special shout out to uh, two guys, uh, Irish Mike and Marty. They do a show on about Notre Dame on uh, you can, uh, www.wbbbw.com. Um, I listened to these guys for the first time the other day, and they have a pretty good show. Uh, they uh, they're on the air every Thursday uh, throughout the fall and winter seasons from 6, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, that's when the show is live. Um, after that, you can catch them on podcasts, the website that I just mentioned. Um, a pretty in-depth show, and I was, and I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. So, uh, Mike and Marty, keep up the good work. So, with that being said, this is Big Sean. Go Irish, and hopefully we can make a, we can finish the season strong and go eight and four. So, I'll catch you guys later.